And we don't have to do the whole hour. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the swamp. Uh, notifications just dropped, so that's good. That'll give a chance for other people to get here. And um, please welcome my co-host, Arthur. Hey, everyone. We may have a guest that pops in when he gets off the show he's currently on, depending, because um, Mel is out of town. So um, I do have a backup, but the backup wasn't sure if he could back up. So... <laughs> I was like, well, if you make it, you make it. If you don't, you don't. It's it's, it's okay. And uh, hello to everybody here. We got Rose and Sandra, Lisa Ann, Arthur. We got Bora Bora. Uh, we got Jenny, Blue Eyes. Oh, I like that name. Oh, yeah. um, let's see. Anybody else? Oh, Sandra in Connecticut. Up in here, Rose Blue. Foxy Roxy is here. And okay, I think I hit everybody so far. Teresa, Kimberly, Book, hey Book, Susie, Alice, Lisa, welcome one and all. Um, if you have any political questions, please put them all in caps so that my blind eyes will see them. And um, and if I miss them, hopefully Arthur will catch them. <laughs> yeah, caps. And, I don't have to wear my glasses. There you go. Uh, we got, oh, looky here. Hi. Hello. You made it. <laughs> yes. Thanks for having me come to Draining the Swamp, hosted by Sherry, Voices from the Swamp, with Arthur from Ease Your Mind. I'm Tara Stash. Hello, Tara Stash. How'd I do? You get a gold star. <laughs> yeah. I'll give him the whole box. What are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. So we we're just getting rolling here. Um oh look, we got a question. Oh, wow. And book just said it's Arthur Love and Sherry Sugar. There you go. <laughs> Aw. I so sweet. And gorgeous Gerald. And gorgeous Gerald. There you go. Yep. Thanks, Arthur. I knew I liked you. <laughs> <laughs> You're a Scorpio. Oh, nice. Scorpio. I have to watch myself. Why? I'm an Aries. Okay. <laughs> so it'll be fun. Well, depending if you're looking at the tropical or the... Uh, Sidereal. Or the... Uh, <laughs> There you go, I Sherry. Just can't swap it as good as you. That's all. You know what? I don't have one. I'll, I'll just use this as my fan. There you go. There you go. My, I got points built up in my Audible account, so I'm waiting for her book to hit Audible, and then it won't cost me anything. Yeah. yeah um. So, <laughs> Sherry, I'm able to fan thwarp this. It's genetic. Yeah, you've 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 got that extra gene that lets you do it. You would yes. think I was a geisha in his last lifetime. Don't you know that? <laughs> what was that? You were a geisha in your last lifetime. Yeah. Yes, a geisha. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh. Sorry. Um, we've I've taken this off on a weird, weird bend. I'm oh, here. No, we just started. Don't even worry about it. We haven't really started. Uh, yet. Yeah, we have. I'm I'm just now kind of flipping through to see if we have questions, and we do. So, um. Make sure I haven't missed anybody. Um, now I have a third set of eyes to help me look out for them. So um, y'all just holler at me if you. And we will try to get to as many questions as we can. I can't guarantee we'll answer all of them. But we will do our very best. So let me back up so that I'm actually in the light and not just letting the top of my head glow. And... Um, Let's Come see. The light. Come into the light. Come into the light. <laughs> Carolyn. This house oh, is good. clean. Yes. Did you yeah. see the third one, by the way? Did you see the third Poltergeist movie? 
I saw all of them. I yeah. thought the third one was a really decent concept for a film. It's a concept, but not a film. Well, okay. Yeah. I, I'm good at suspending my disbelief that way. I'm just like, <laughs> oh, okay. So I did that when I ordered food in. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and uh, all right. You're getting Burn more up. questions there, Sherry. Okay. Will Trump start to delay the Alvin Bragg trial work? I'll let y'all answer while I go back to. I'm going to say right off top, no. No. They may have to, they may talk about delay, but I don't see it actually being delayed. That's no, it's, it's a dream. Seven of Cups. Mm. It's not, mm -hmm. it's not going to work. He's trying all sorts of things in order to do any, any sort of distraction. Basically throwing the spaghetti on the, on the wall, see what sticks, right? Exactly. That's well said. In the swords. <laughs> it ain't happening. Yeah. Wow. It's not happening. So yeah, don't hold your breath on that one. We're, we're good. Um, all right. Next up, we got Miss Orchid's Garden. I love that name. When will George Clooney movie about Jim Jordan and Ohio State Athletics come out for public viewing? Arthur, do you know the answer to that one? I don't even know what the film is. I didn't know there was one. I know that he was working on one. Um, It'll probably be like 2025, 20, 26. But... Uh, I don't know. I know that um, I haven't read Variety. Reading of something about Jim Jordan was really upset about it. About Clooney sticking his nose where it didn't belong mm. in politics. It was like the guy's father was a damn political newsman. Where do you think he got it from? <laughs> I think I think uh, 20, 26 at the earliest, but um, I get the idea of there's going to have to be some reworking. So editing. editing, thank you. That's the word. There you go. Um, <laughs> oh, the damn ten of swords again came right back up to the top. So I'm, yeah. Maybe, maybe in ten months we'll get we'll get a clue as to if it's going to do anything or not. I'm hmm. I'm not getting anything off of that, so I'm I'm uh, crickets. <laughs> uh, okay, here we go. Roxy, Roxy has one. Sterling mentioned he saw Trump's he saw Trump still alive in November. What do you all see? Well, everyone reads differently, so. Yeah. I mean, I've always seen him crashing and burning and not finishing the finish line. That doesn't mean he's gone to the great beyond, but he could be sitting in a rubber room, you know, thinking he is president. <laughs> uh, well, <clears throat> physically just, alive, but not mentally not alive. Yeah, I just haven't seen him at the end running. No. It's like it gets circumvented kind of and I don't know if it's because he's no longer breathing or if it's because he's in the rubber room where he belongs or in a padded cell somewhere um, so I'm not um, I think Paul Lang is going to be upset because he's going to use the song My Way <laughs> um I, uh, yeah, I have said, I have said previously, I, I'm, I'm not seeing him being president. Um, and uh, like Arthur, like you said, uh, you know, he's not at the finish line. But um, I pulled three cards and I got the emperor, the hierophant and the hermit. And what's funny is, is if you look at, there's 45. And then we have the hermit. How about that for some isolation? Yeah. So, 
that that I can see happening. Time for Ooh. reflection. A lot of time for reflection. Yes. As long as he's locked away and can't harm anybody anymore. <laughs> That's, you know, I don't care how they do it. Just get rid of him. My concern is the next one that comes along who actually does have two cognitive brain cells to rub together that allow thought. <laughs> um, that's who I worry about is the mean, next one that comes mean along. Mean replacement? Ain't going to happen. Um, I don't see someone taking over for Trump. Well, maybe not like right now, but I mean... In 16 years from now, maybe. Yeah. I just... That's I what know. I worry about is somebody that's like that, but is able to hide it. Trump can't hide the way he is. Because he just... There's no filter on him. He just... It comes out. My concern is somebody that's actually intelligent. That's like, oh, okay, looky here. We can do it this way, and we can finagle over here and do it this way. And no, I don't see that's it my only worry. So, and if y'all say no go, then I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to just get rid of that one right away. All right, Miss Rose, will the Bitcoin mine in Denton County, Texas, be stopped? They're making bitcoins in Texas. I wasn't aware of that. Um, wow. Hmm. I don't know what this is, but I get a yes on it. That'll be stopped. Yeah. There. No. They're, they're confusing me, my guides, because they're saying, no, don't do that deck. Don't do this deck, which tells me this is going to be going through so much stuff that it's um, it's not going to be able to move forward very quickly. So, yeah, there's, there's a whole lot of stuff going on underneath the surface. I was going to say, I keep on getting the image of quicksand. Mm. I thought Bitcoin was just virtual money. I didn't think they were actually making That's what I thought as well, but coins. I mean, I have no idea. Yeah, Arthur, I'm a child. Well, I, when I grew up, I watched television, and I was under the impression that quicksand would be a much larger issue than it really is, because of all of the TV shows. Everybody mm -hmm. ended up in quicksand. Yeah, so. yeah. Tarzan and all the westerns and everything. Yep. Yep. And the Three Stooges. Yes. Alf's mom said it's a lot of computers running full blast in this building that's using up a lot of electricity full blast. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. I I don't see it. I I pull three cards. I mean I pull temperance, followed by justice. Followed by the four of wands. So I'm just not. I, I, I can't even make sense out of that. So well, when I go to the grid, we'll, fit, we'll find out. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's a digital thing, but there's uh, modems and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So that's yeah. a lot of electricity. Yes. Yeah. Just what Texas needs is more electricity drain. Um. Okay, Susie had a question. Do you see Kansas Republicans being successful in changing abortion rights in Kansas? No. I get real fast, real clear. No. They can try, but it's not going to work. I pulled some cards on something similar to this last week. Similar question. Um, but it was, will Biden be able to make it the law of the land where the states can't do anything with abortion rights? And I saw, yes, he was gonna, it was gonna get codified into law and 
that was going to be the end of that. Just like they did so, in France. Um, because it's something that, you know, it's not just abortion, it's women's health. And I love the way he said it in his uh, State of the Union when he looked square at the Supreme Court justices and said, women are perfectly capable of making their own decisions mm -hmm. and they've got the power to do so. And they don't forget. <laughs> I was like, oh, damn, he just threw down all the damn justices. Man, uh, so I thought that was pretty ballsy myself. I'm, I was like, you go, baby. Yeah. <laughs> what do you got on this, Gerald? No. Yeah. Yeah, it's a it's a no. And um what's interesting is this I have the King of Pentacles. The 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 ones are the they're not gonna be able to change it. The ones are solid. They're gonna be trying to fight the good fight. They're gonna be sticking up to it. And they also have a long term plan. So yeah. Cool. Yep, thank okay. you. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was it was almost as quick as yours, Arthur. I was just like when they wanted me to have the visual. But okay. Well, I, I don't really use cards that much, so no, yeah, that's fine. Because I I'm can draw just... stick figures if you like. Yeah, well, you could. <laughs> Whatever works for you. Sometimes I use cards well, and sometimes once in a while I'll pull the Lenamon from the Lenamon deck. They just cut me off yeah. and tell me directly what they want me to say. So like, okay, whatever you want. Um Okay, next up we've got Diana Hill. Will our Democratic Republic prevail? Yes. I heard that loud and clear. Yes. Um, Not without struggles. Well, with change, there's always some type of struggle. Yeah. But in the yeah. end, the word is, does it prevail? Yes. Yeah. Um, the Knight of Pentacles. So, yes, slow and steady. Slow and steady. That's how I drink. <laughs> You're smart. <laughs> <laughs> no, I used to play piano bars. <laughs> okay. Well, you're smart. And experienced. <laughs> Saw what went on around him and said, no, nah, that's not for me. Um, okay. Next up, we got Sacred Hag. <laughs> I like that name. Um, what's going to happen to the MAGAs mentally and emotionally when Ding Dong goes down? Um, some of them are already suffering breakdowns. Watch YouTube. <laughs> Watch some of the, the clips of people just losing their, their poop over... Call the program. How may I help you? Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. what's going to happen. That's exactly right. And it's going to be, it's going to be emotional and very, very confusing because there's no, um, yeah, you have to deprogram and that takes time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah. Cause you're talking about a real cognitive dissonance there, you know, that, they they've been well, they're brainwashed, you know. Yes. Yeah, they've been brainwashed into believing one thing, and now you're telling them everything that they thought they knew was all a lie. Yeah. How did so, you feel when they said there's no Santa Claus? You what? Know, my, um, <laughs> I'm just hoping none of them get violent with it. So that's. I mean, I don't think we would see another January 6th event happen, but we might see smaller scale stuff happen in some state houses. There are going to be a lot of emotions around this, and they're gonna it's going to be the angsty teenager. Very so. much so. Very what, much so. Kyle Rittenhouse. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, with their mama driving them over there so he can do his thing. 
Okay, next up we got KC. Will 45's hush money stop work? Nope. Uh, because he did this before he was president. Ooh, snap. I mean, he arranged it before the election. Yeah. 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 And it's, so yeah. the other stuff he did was after he was president. Right. President. And, and the, uh, the stuff in Florida was after he was president. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he I'm can not... try, but that's, you know, timing is everything. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. I have a cheeseburger, Mr. Trump, please. <laughs> you have ketchup on your. On your wall. On your wall. On your wall. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. Next up, we got book. Well, Scotus's Robert's mindset regarding how Scotus's future looks after being called out by Biden. Oh, the, you know, they all look like they were a little shamed. Not really. They're above. They feel they're above us. I mean, well, the, some of them do. The the conservative ones, we'll put it that way. Yeah. But yeah, the thing is, if he's worried about it, he would have done something like by Clarence, figure out something to do with Clarence Thomas by now. Yeah. The only thing I think. As far as as Chief Justice Roberts goes, is that he's starting to realize that his legacy is not going to be what he thought it was going to be, and it's going to be a whole lot worse. So maybe there will be something good that comes out of that. But that's me looking through my rose-colored glasses. So. Well, and Arthur, I, I agree with you. It's just like they are untouchable in their minds. Yes. And um, that's that's why they wanted the job. That's why they were put there. So it's, it's very much that they're very satisfied and they don't necessarily have to pay that much attention. Correct. It's not like a Pelican Brief where they're getting killed. Yeah. Wow, it's been a long time since I saw that movie. I had to stop and think about it for a minute. Um, Sorry. Yeah, no, I th I think that they that while Roberts is starting to realize his legacy is not going to be all hung in glory like he thought it was going to be, but at the same time, yeah, I agree with y'all both that they're, they feel they're so above everything that it doesn't matter. Well, if you also look how they got in, yeah. they were like basically giving carte blanche to walk through the door. So why would anyone stop them now? Oh, yeah. yeah. You got Justice I Like Beer who got all his debt paid off just before they put him up for the job. So... Oh. And of course, Justice Stepford's wife has to check in with hubby to find out what she's allowed to agree on or not agree on. <laughs> I was wondering if she wears like a, a aqua color pantsuit under that robe of hers. <laughs> you, you have another question down um, below from Dan, artist paint or, or artist painter. So. Got lots of emojis. So there's okay. some more that are coming down there. I don't I know agree. how many more you want to take. Well, we got five. I've got starred, and I was getting ready to okay. uh, go in and um, check out some more. What month do we see Trump really failing in the election campaign? Summer or fall? Summer. Early summer. He's going to fall. 
summer, you know, so three out of three. Well, I'm saying early, like, I'm feeling like something about May, towards the end of May into June. I was like, thinking early June. Yeah. Is what I was getting. So. Yeah. Well, you get the popcorn. I'll go to Costco and get the butter. I will get okay. extra popcorn. And, and napkins. Brew. And napkins. <laughs> lots and lots of napkins. <laughs> um, uh, here we go. Amanda asks, will there ever be a cognitive test for Trump? Just Trump or for anybody running for office? I mean... Yeah, when they say, well, he's not fit to be in trial now. Let's give him another test. Elephant, gorilla. Okay, he can do it. <laughs> oh, goodness. You're cracking me up today, Arthur. He does that all the time. He keeps me in yeah, stitches. Just like going, of course there won't be a cognitive test for Trump. There won't. No, it's just a test him every time he goes on stage. Somebody's going to start paying attention and doing something about it. Yeah. So. I like what Book said. There aren't enough therapists now. <laughs> so very true. That's actually, um, that's uh, that you bring up a really important point. That's going to be a really important thing to how this is managed. Yes. Because that there, there is, there's a crisis in that. And um, we're we're late on the crisis handling. Mm -hmm. So look at me. I'm like we're, we're late on the crisis handling. So it's very much, it's a concern because it's going to put strains. Yeah. So, well, we can always get a job at a ther as a therapist online. You could, yes. Yeah. We do it already in some ways. <laughs> yes, I'm not sure I could handle that uh, eight hours a day. No, no. That's why I believe in a four day week work week. Yeah. <laughs> yes, but are you working 10 hours a day? No. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm I'm working 10 hours a day, 4 days a week and then half a day on Friday to cover the hour I get for lunch every day during the week. <laughs> yeah. You're right, book. We we don't have enough right now. No. no. Well, qualified ones. True. No. Um I've met a couple shrinks that are just like shrink wrapped they're nuts yeah i have stories to tell about that but well i have clients to tell but i don't talk about things out of school <laughs> online yeah. yes exactly. yes exactly yes. i mean but as i said earlier i did a private show and then i did with linda early today i said the man's brain is swiss cheese period that's it. Mm -hmm. Well, and it's like, you know, I, I took care of my mom the last 10 years of her life with severe dementia. And in the beginning, we used to tease her about her Swiss cheese brain because the holes would just pop up at the most oddest places of where her memory would drop out. And I watch 45 and it's like, man, I see it's like a re replay of watching what my mom went through. You know, it's like this, this man is in serious decline and yeah. they really, really need to get him into the proper medical care. Um, but then again, he doesn't really have anybody that cares enough about him to want to see him get proper medical care. I think yeah. I've watched too many prison movies. I just got a, a an image of him getting hosed down before putting on his jumpsuit. <laughs> you are sick, 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 sick. But, but his but his jumpsuit will have a hoodie, so you know because they won't let him have that. <laughs> uh, wow. I just can't with you sometimes. Now, try not to now. Try not to image that. Thank you. 
<laughs> Too late. Great. That's your Christmas present. Okay, moving on. Um, Peggy asks, Trump is by far gone nuts. Well, you have no argument from us. Is there another reason why the GOP is holding on to him? Is there any underlying reason? Of course there is. It's called this big country begins with R. And another megalomaniac who begins with P. Tweedle T and Tweedle P. Yep. And they all have lots of dirt on everybody. <laughs> wow. Well, I feel though that Jack Smith knows where the bodies are kept and where they bought the shovels. Yeah. I think yeah. he's getting he's getting the receipts, so to speak. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If it's you know, I've, I've always I've always felt that that is a he's he is a person who is thorough, and nothing is being discarded, nothing being discarded. So, put in a plastic bag with a with a little note on it. Yes, with a note on it, and it's going to be documented and stored in four different separate places. So yes, yes. Um, but Trump's an easy person to put up front, and then you do what you want behind his back. That's ex I, that's what I'm I'm seeing. There's this is he's a distraction. There's other stuff going on that we're not seeing at this point. While Heritage Foundation is trying to get you know their 2025 program in. Oh God. Yeah. Well, I pulled the nine of swords, so there's a lot of worry going on on the GOP side because they're trying to figure out how to keep this uh, this total fool <laughs> from crashing and burning everything that they've worked so hard for for so long. Um, meanwhile, he sits, whoops, he sits and stares at the three empty cups in front of him and refuses to see the full one that's coming out of the sky next to him saying, here's a little help. Yeah. So yeah, I'm 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 Dave, I, I how many people are gonna get this reference? Look over there. <laughs> That's what's going on. Oh, here. Yeah. Squirrel. I'll do it with my <laughs> tiny hands. Look over there. <laughs> So remember that, everybody. And here we have the lovely assistant helping the magician. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Look there at you her go. and her sparkly little yep. bikini suit. And you don't see me doing all the other stuff. So, you know. Yep. Um, mm. There you go. Okay. Do we foresee any health issues for Biden before the election? Nope. No. <laughs> Not at all. They're wrapping him in bubble wrap before he leaves. Yeah, I mean, of course, yeah, yeah, and I'm wrapping him in metaphysical bubble wrap too. That's what I mean. Um, yeah. You know, I'm like going yeah. here. Have have um have a globe of white protective light. We'll add some orange to it. You know, let's radiate it and then give you some invisibility so that people don't see you. Well, that's kind of what I do with Trump. And I've said this many times on shows where I send the pink light, the purple light, and all that, like the big bubble from The Wizard of Oz. I didn't say anything about putting air in it. Good point. These are details that people forget. Mm -hmm. Yes. 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 Pay no attention to that man behind the curtain. <laughs> yep. Oh, my yep. goodness. No, I he's... So he's what three years older than Trump, but he is like thirty years younger than Trump. Just in he's as old as Mick Jagger. For God's sake! I mean, nobody's telling Mick Jagger to get off the stage. Yeah, exactly. And he's, yeah, um, yeah. I mean, he still rides a bicycle. I don't think Trump and takes Pilates could ride a bicycle of his life. He can't walk down a ramp, much less ride a bicycle. 
Um, if it had training wheels. Yeah. What? <laughs> if it had training wheels and a little bell, you know. <laughs> ding, ding. The or, like, or like those ladies in Atlantic City, you know, the three, you know, the, the big Joe, wheels. You don't have the bicycle ring on your. <laughs> no, I don't. Not every other sound effect. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I'm going to have to find that one. <laughs> The bicycle, the bicycle bill. Um, well, you know, I'm going to be looking for it at the dollar store tomorrow. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. I, you know, Biden is going to be fine. I'm, yeah, he's in very good health. So let's see. Okay. Be still. I'm trying to, but my back is having spasm. <laughs> Arthur and I are both started almost at the same time. Nope. <laughs> In monop monopoly money, maybe, but no, because he can't afford to buy that many copies of the game Monopoly because he doesn't have any money. That's right. Well, they can steal it. Well, that's true. They could go to a try to do it from a photocopier. I'm just going to jump the gun here with somebody. Rose put up. Has anyone else seen Archangel Michael? Standing behind Biden. Yes. I said on Linda's show when I was yes. watching the uh, State of the Union, I said either my liver's backing up from the 70s or that's Michael standing behind uh, Biden. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. The, yeah. Very no, protected I'm, I'm, on many levels. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's got he's got so much angelic protection around him that that yeah. I you know, I don't think I don't think anybody could get to him if they wanted to. <coughs> um no. Okay. Here's one. I'll, uh, I'll sure. That's going back to the thing. Okay, we already discussed okay, yeah. So I would allow uh, these lines, they stress the grid. Yeah, yeah we already did that one. Uh, Thanks, Amy, for putting the link in. Oh, very, yes. Thank you very much. Do you think that the MAGA cult will start to think more rationally closer to the election? No. They're going to get more irrational the closer we get to the election. They're, um, I just see more, I, and I'm seeing it I'm a blue dot in a great big red state. And um, yeah, I'm seeing a lot of people starting to get a little freaked out because of how you can't watch Trump and not see the crazy rolling off of him anymore. And those people who vote for him and, and support him but are still halfway sane are starting to say, whoa, whoa Nelly, there's, there's, there's something wrong with this guy, but they're too embarrassed to admit it. Well, but then they could vote secretly because... Right. I think Susan Lynn said it best when she did her imitation of Trump. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Exactly. But, you know, it's... Think more rationally? I don't think so. I think one of the things that will happen is, is that a couple of key people will start to behave differently and other people will follow them. Like so me. I think the behavior, you know, that's the, that's the, you know, people will follow the leader and a couple of people, they, they may change their approach. Um, so they may start behaving differently because of what these key people are seeing. Follow yeah. the Follow the faux leader. Yes, follow the faux exactly. leader. Exactly. Um, okay. Here we go. <laughs> Cheryl, Katie Britt run again for Senate after the GOP threw her under the She's bus. She's stuck in the kitchen. That's that's the, the whacked out brunette, right? That did the the response to the? Mm -hmm. 
Oh. Okay, how many people saw Scarlett Johansson do the SNL skit? Skit with her, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I didn't see it, but I've heard about it. So I started watching it, and I'm like, I can't watch this. I turned it off. I, I couldn't go there. I just mm -hmm. couldn't do it. Yeah. It's like I'd rather put Tabasco sauce in my eyes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no. <laughs> Somebody said I thought she was a bot. <laughs> yeah, Stepford Wives. Oh my goodness! Yep. I watched that movie recently. Which one? Stepford Wives, the original. Oh, good. The the good one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ira Levin is best. He also wrote Rosemary's Baby. Yes, yes, and yeah. Sliver. Yeah. In fact, I. I teased um, Linda today, and I said, he has his father's eyes. And she's like, what? He has his father's eyes. <laughs> and she said, what? I said, that's from Rosemary's Baby. <laughs> I love that. Oh, my gosh. She was clueless. She was like, look at him like, what? <laughs> it took a minute. <laughs> that's brilliant. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That was funny. Oh, that's good. Yeah. I always like that a good really reference like that. Yeah. Oh, come on. It's just a cup of Lipton tea. Yes. <laughs> it has an undertaste. Chalky undertaste. Yes, chalky undertaste. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Bringing back some memories, gentlemen. Of it's sitting in the theater and laughing my ass off and thinking, that would never happen. <laughs> or was I wrong? It's Rosemary's Baby, Rose Blue. Yeah. Yes. The original movie, Rosemary's Baby. The scene where she's running across, I think it's Fifth Avenue, um, like running through traffic and everything, that was not planned. He just shoved her in and, and followed her with the camera. They had no permits, no nothing. They just did it. Oh, mm -hmm. wow. Yeah. Well, isn't that what a good um, director does? Just do it. That way you can get the legit... Um, experience on film. Response. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, that's brilliant. So much for well, method acting. <laughs> yeah. uh, yes, but let's go. It's Vidal Sassoon. <laughs> you actually paid for that? Yes. It's like he was not happy. <laughs> oh my goodness. I All would right. I, I would have killed to be in that building at one point. I mean that's where Leonard Bernstein lived. That's where um oh, what's her name? Um Yoga still lives there, and um, Lauren Bacall. Oh, wow. The, the Dakota. Wow. I'm not sure I would have painted all of that woodwork, but that's okay. No. No. Uh, that was a bit of a shock. It was the 60s. Yeah. Yes, that's true. Actually, I do have a, a... While we're talking about Rosemary's Baby, I think you guys will like this one. It's off subject. When I was going to Catholic school, we used to walk to school. And one day the nun said, I'm sure everyone saw something really interesting on your way to school today. Would you describe it to the class? So people are talking about this, that, whatever. And I'm sitting there going, you know, I saw a baby carriage. And like, okay. And it was black. Okay. And the woman looked kind of green and sick. Okay. And the it was like a bunch of rocks. And the nun's like, what are you talking about? I said, it's a movie post for, for this thing called Rosemary's Baby. <laughs> I'm, I'm describing the Rosemary's Baby poster to a nun. I love that. Can you imagine what they were talking about during lunch? <laughs> that Arthur again. <laughs> well, I can, I can top that one. When I was in first grade, the nun called me up to the desk and said, you don't know how to follow directions. I'm like, what do you mean? A little first roll, you know, first grade. What does this say? It was a coloring exercise. And it said, this woman is brunette, color her hair. I said, and she said, okay, you read it. Now, why did you color her hair blonde? I'm like, my grandma's a hairdresser. Any woman that goes in there is going to come out, a brunette, come out as a blonde. And before she could say anything, I said, I gave her roots. 
The attention to detail has never changed, has it? No. I love like, that. Go sit down. Because <laughs> she knew you were right. Yeah. Well, it said oh, color yeah. her hair, so I did. Yes, I love that. <laughs> That's so great. Yeah, in first grade, I was a wise ass. <laughs> Just and, and and when will that be stopping? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's when in second grade is when they started flicking holy water on me, and I wanted to turn around and say, "I'm not sizzling. Cut it out." <laughs> <sighs> I actually went into church at one point uh, after I had come out, and um, I went in with my sister standing next to me, and I went, oh, "I didn't burst into flames." Yeah. The like, didn't <laughs> like remember in uh, Devil's Advocate where Mal Pacino puts his finger in the, uh, the water font and it starts bu bubbling? <laughs> uh, uh, these are small things that um, mean a lot to us. Yeah, I have no life. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I read. All I do is read. I yeah. have no life. <laughs> I go to work and I get on YouTube and that's my life. <laughs> what will become of Kyle Rittenhouse? I do not see any statues being erected in his name. Thank God. Oh. I think okay. I feel there's oh, upstairs is going to he's not going to have a happy life. He's haunted. He's broke now anyway. I feel a bit like um, the the what's that phrase? History will take care of it. Yeah. So. Or the quicksand. Yeah. Mm. Or the quicksand. Oh my god. <laughs> there we go. Mm. Oh my goodness. Okay, here we go. Greg Abbott. What does the future hold for him? I'm sorry. Um. Um, I felt he's not going to get 2026 due to an indictment. Mm. He's going to be lucky if they don't toss him in the Rio Grande where the barbed wire is. <laughs> Tell him if you can fight your way out, you're good to go. Um. You can't tread water. He's he's not going to be a uh, he. We are not going to see him. Yeah, he will go on a little bit of a journey and will not. Uh, yeah, just won't be here anymore. We won't see him. Thank you. Okay, my Cajun cousin is asking. Um, where do you see your tragic girlfriend in two years, Arthur? Well, we already saw her in the red cosplay outfit. <laughs> so hopefully we'll get to see her in an orange cosplay outfit. I I don't see her lasting with a political career. No. Yeah, I don't. I mean, she and I think that I, think going to, I don't feel she's going to finish her second term because or the next term, there's indictments are coming up for her. Yeah, January six. <coughs> Most definitely. Mm. Ooh. Well, actually, I call her my tragic girlfriend, but also little cloven hooves. Little cloven hooves. Mm -hmm. huh. I like that one. Feet take after her father's. Probably. Yeah. Tower. Oops. Bye. Well, I pulled the hangman reverse. Followed with a three of hearts, <laughs> three of swords. So um, I'm going to just take this quite literally is what I'm looking at on this picture. She's going to hang herself with her own stupidity. She's got the three of swords to be like, okay, <laughs> this didn't work. Um, what next? I think she's going to be so busy fighting, fighting off going to prison that um, 
she's not going to have time for any of the other stuff. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Cheryl Romig asks, will Florida ever recover from DeSantis? Eventually. Thank you for calling Cult the Programming. How can I help you? <laughs> yeah. It's going to it's going to take longer than they, they will, but it, it's going to parts of it are going to take longer than others. And so for a while, Trump is going to be, I mean Trump, sorry. Florida will Florida will be lopsided. So I'm not sure. I, I lived in Florida back when it was more blue than red. Um, yeah, but I'm going to rock on you, but you did hear what Trump said at the news conference where he believes that they should start taking away Social Security and Medicare. Yeah. So, wow. In Florida, that will really go over well. Yeah. That'll help shift a few things. Mm hmm one can think. hope yes like some bowels or something yeah oh well he didn't mean that that's not what he meant when he said yeah. it yeah no, where's that's my what he meant. <laughs> hmm. you know actually though with santas those weren't really lifts in his shoes those are his cloven hooves <laughs> Will the truth of what DeSantis did with the COVID money come out soon? Not soon, but it comes out. Yeah, I was just going to say not soon. What'd you, how many years, are Arthur? Within, within three years. Okay. And his wife is going to get some stuff thrown at her, too. Mm. Oh, yeah. Because she was the one spending the money. <laughs> well, she's like a Karen on crack, from what I hear, so. Oh, my. Yeah. Yeah. Watch a couple of those videos on YouTube. You'll see what we mean by that. Is Those people are crazy. Um, okay. Will Colin Allred defeat Ted Cruz this November? I get a yes. I get a yes, and I get a really happy yes. I get, a, I get the world. Things are going to oh. open up. Yeah. Go. Oh. We have a flight to Cancun. Yes, and I got a Queen of Pentacles. Followed by the Queen of Swords. <laughs> Followed by the world. <laughs> well, there you so, go. Yeah. He'll be traveling the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's going to be doing really good. Yeah. And Ted can go back to, where was it? Cancun. Um. Yeah. Yes, it's part of the covenant marriage commitment thing. Uh, I had friends that went through this, and they 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 brainwashed their children into believing this this chasteness is the only way, and you must remain pure until you get married. And or until you're literally out literally they do like wedding ceremonies where the fathers marry the daughters to keep them chaste until they find the right husband for them. And it, it's crazy. It's crazy. And if you get married under this covenant thing, try getting a divorce if the guy or the woman turns out to be cuckoo for coconuts or an abuser or, you know, an alcoholic and whatnot. It's almost impossible. I, I know people who went through this stuff. And it's like, wow, this is these people are seriously loop de loo, and it's scary. What? Well, if they're going by the Bible, you know what Lot's two daughters did. <laughs> and yeah, <sighs> exactly. It's in the Bible. It, it you, there are lots of things in the Bible. Yeah, I know somebody was pitching a fit uh, a couple of weeks ago at work. Somebody was saying something about well, 
Bible doesn't say that abortion is okay. And I said, well, then maybe God shouldn't have put in directions on how to do it because it's in Leviticus. Look it up. He gives you directions how to perform an abortion. So if women are raped, they get rid of it. <laughs> I said, go read the book. <laughs> you don't believe me. Yeah. So, yeah. We need to see um, some people to make another film. No, they don't consummate the marriage. It's all... It's, well, we hope. Well, yeah. <laughs> we hope. Um, it's... it's Yeah. It's all of this purity nonsense of women must remain pure of heart and pure of body and pure of soul before daddy finds them some man to marry that he says is okay. Um, After daddy tries them out first. Oh. Yeah. Sorry. And you just hope like hell you don't have a real sick daddy that thinks. Am I the only one who's singing matchmaker, watch, matchmaker? You know? <laughs> Like, yeah. Mm. No, exactly. I'm I'm seeing more like he had it coming. Uh, thank you. Oh yes. Okay. Go to jail. Yes. Okay, oh, let's move on. Please. Yes. Uh, oh, here. here, let's let's remove that energy. There you go. Change yeah. the question. Get thank rid you. of that. Woo. Um. Oh, that works too. Yes. Is George Santos being used as a distraction? No, more like a mule. Um, no. Clarence says, ooh. <laughs> he's just an idiot. He's a, he's a media. Horse. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Am I allowed to say that word? My apologies. Look, I'm I'm a, I'm usually probably not psychic. Say. So, but after being around Mel, I gotta watch it. <laughs> we don't want to send him to YouTube jail. Yeah. No. Sorry. But he is a, a media clown too. Yeah. It's like, what do you want me to do? Pay me. Yeah. My goodness. <laughs> All depends on what you pay as to what you get. So, you know, you got to list your price right up front. Well, he's making money off of cameos. So what the, what the heck? <laughs> there we go. We're out of questions. We actually got through all the ones. We have like over 20 starred questions. Well, I'm out of my mind. So, you know. Uh, well, there you go. So we were right at 58 minutes. So that works. An hour. We didn't go over. Yay. Thanks for inviting me. You're Thanks welcome. For coming Thank you for coming. And You're welcome. Thank you for emailing me earlier, reminding me, did you yeah. still want me to come on? <laughs> yeah. Because I forgot to send you the link. Everything I have. Special guest, TBA. Yeah. <laughs> Who's TBA? Um mm. Tarot stash um, bad something something a. I know that's why I stopped. <laughs> I'll be cross. Uh, yeah, yeah, y'all are too much. It's all right. Uh, so. We do, we do. So, what do you have coming up, Joe? Tomorrow, I am very excited because I am hosting a deck casual for this great deck. It's called the Tarot of Oneness. Oh, wow. And I have that's tomorrow on my channel. And oh, then the cool. following week, we're doing part two where we have uh, where I have invited the author and the creator of this to join us. Great. So oh, I'm really, awesome. really looking forward to that. I, I like talking with creators. It's 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 really fun. Yeah. Well, when God that's talks why to I like reading the guidebooks when I pick up a deck because I want to know what their thinking is behind what mm -hmm. they created. 
What was your intent? What was your purpose? Yeah. And um, what did you say, Arthur? Me. What were you saying? I don't know. Stuff just comes out of my mouth sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I tell everybody my my guides are Manny, Mo, and Jack. They were in Vaudeville. So, well, which we explains were... it. <laughs> well, we, I, I just did readings with the Mystic Four, and we had somebody who asked a, a great question: "Is is like, do guides ever want to like quit?" And it was a really good question because it's like. My guides have a great sense of humor. I never cease to amuse them. Um, and that's part of the rapport that we have. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're, they're not going to duck out, but vaudeville, I mean. When, when I once said, you know, I feel sorry for my guardian angel. They're an alcoholic at this point. <laughs> and I heard this chuckling and I knew exactly who it was. Oh, um, yeah. The big guy. So it was like, yeah, he's like on a bar stool. Raphael's trying to hold him up. It's falling my life. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. No, but the guys, you know, I I I, I call them Manny Mo and Jack. I bet they don't tell me their names, but they they chuckle when I say that. So that's why I keep mm -hmm. on saying it. Yeah, yeah. It's it's your guide. It's your approval. Because mm -hmm. I don't ever want to tick off my guides. Oh no. Yeah, me either. Oh no. <laughs> I've seen when people try and to. My guides out. are from the Native American uh, community, or at least that's how they introduce themselves to me. And it's like, I'm, yeah, I don't want to make them upset. <laughs> how do they handle it? Uh, oh, my. Do they know where the river Gichigumi is? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, oh I remember God. that song. Um, well, y'all, we've been an hour and a minute, two minutes. Okay, thank so, you. This is only my fifth show of the day. <laughs> I'm well aware of that fact. Every <laughs> time I got over by the computer, you were on live somewhere. I was like, damn, he just took over today. <laughs> So how many five-hour energy drinks did you have, or was it coffee? I had um, I had one cup of coffee. I'm just a high-energy sort of guy. Wow. Yeah. And in between shows, I did uh, I did have a chance to you know do a bio break, and at one point, I laid down to try to reground, and that was successful. So. Oh, good. So. Yeah, I had the show this morning with Linda. Then I had two clients, and then. I wanted to blow my brains out, and then I did this show, so it's all good. There you go. I helped brought him down from the blowing the brains out part. Uh oh, <laughs> I'm teasing. Yeah. You have to have brains to blow them out. So, <laughs> okay, okay. Well, thank you, Sherry, for another yes. enjoyable draining the swamp. And next Arthur, uh, Gerald's got his deck casuals. Um, Arthur, you got anything coming up this week? I'm doing my very first members only live show. Oh, so nice. Yay. Yeah. And uh, so I have to still learn how to use StreamYard. And then um, you got two people right here that can help you. And Monday is Linda. And then uh, Tuesday's Mel. Nice. Wednesday is Val. Cool. So that's, that's, and then, well, every Tuesday is usually me and Mel doing Aloha Tuesday. Mm -hmm. So that's it. Yeah. Beautiful. And my, my sister's coming to town, so I'm not doing much on Wednesday. I haven't seen her in four years, so. Oh. My twin. And what are you doing Tuesday, uh, Wednesday? Picking her up at the Hilton with her husband and then take him to dinner and then drive him back because <laughs> they're leaving the next morning. That works. I'll show my place, you know, whatever. <laughs> yeah. His five by five inch square. Oh, yeah. Table. Somebody asked me, I know Wilshire Boulevard. I think I know where your office is. How big is it? I said, five by five. She's like, that's kind of small. I said, five inches by five inches. The drop box. <laughs> Yeah. But it's been a pleasure doing another show with you, Gerald. 
Thank you. It's been great um, sharing space with you and Sherry. Appreciate it. Yes. So thank you very much for 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 not running away after the last time you filled in. No, no, no. I'm actually going to have dinner now. Okay. Well, you go have dinner now, and I want to thank everybody for coming. Um, for those of you that asked questions, if we missed them, my apologies. When chat starts jumping, I can only scroll back up so far. And then I can't get to earlier questions that were listed. So um, we try to grab them while we can, but we're human. So um, we're not perfect. And, and Joe, uh, just to let you know, someone just came through. Oh, no. oh yeah. <laughs> Bon I love it. I'm serious. Well, I'm sure I love it. 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 I love I love it. 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 Doing something around doing yeah. something this week so just you know plug in check out our community pages and um you'll see you'll find us thumbs up hit Everybody subscribe on you. all your channels leave a comment Come after the show and put a comment that helps boost the algorithm mm -hmm. gets us pushed out there to people and um gerald you're slacking come on <laughs> Where's your stuff? There we go. <laughs> Cue cards. And you go. here you go. Here's the like and subscribe. And everybody's Thanks, everybody. link is in the description box below, except Gerald's, but I will go put it in once the show is so, over. Uh, yeah, I'll, so that it will be there. And I'll get rid of CBA. <laughs> You'll yeah. get rid of TBA. Yeah. There you go. All right. All right. You're a boy badass. Well, let me say that. <laughs> there you go. All right. I love it. Bye bye. bye. Somebody just got a new member. That must be you, Arthur. Oh, getting it right. Love the name. Yeah. And mm -hmm. you, you got it right. You joined his membership. So bye, everybody. We're bye. Now. Bye. <laughs> bye.